Hello, I'm um, doing a response to women fully surrendered or whatever your name is. Um, so you you um, mentioned that you have to have rules in a group. Um, and I know this, okay, I'm an admin on a Muslim Christian forum that has 130,000 members. So I understand that there are rules that you have to abide by, okay? And um, uh, originally when I was in the group, um, the vagueness of the rule really didn't help anything, okay? No disrespect of Torah, what does that mean? Christians who are not under the law, don't disrespect Torah. We, uh, or no, I guess it was, she said no ill words of Torah. Okay. That, uh, <laughs> no Christian who believes we're not under the law anymore has ill words to say about the Torah. It was God's law, and now we're not under it. That's not speaking ill words. So for one thing, it was vague, and um, like I've said before in my videos, you know, you'd, you know, you'd think you're free to say something. You'd say it because other people are talking about something, and you feel like, okay, this is a conversation that I can discuss, um, and you'd have your comments removed. And by the way, okay, so one of the comments I've had removed, and I'm sure you guys see it on the exposed page, was her. Didn't even have anything to do with Torah. She just simply made an error about saying that we're not supposed to call people pastors. I corrected her very gently, and she deleted my comments. So, you know, it wasn't always that people were, like, teaching doctrine that she disagrees with. People were correcting other people, and we were doing it gently. So that's kind of, you know... And the other thing is, is um, I don't know how many, when the moderators first started being on her group, um, I think she had, I don't think she had much. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was me that was actually making posts, and maybe I'll post this on the video, saying, this is before I noticed that there was some deep heresy going on. I was the one suggesting that she have moderators, by the way, and my comments were deleted before she had really much of a moderator. She may not have had any, or if she had some, it was only like one or two. She was deleting my comments, okay? Um, and they were not comments, you know, like, you know, getting all riled up about the law. They were, like, correcting her, like I said, about, you know, you can call people pastors, and um, she doesn't like to be corrected. Okay, so yeah, and yeah, I mean, I'm sure now moderators are uh, are uh, deleting and turning off stuff, but I think Lee probably does it a lot, and I think that you probably uh, ought to be uh, either that or okay, you know, like I said, we have an admin group on my on on the page that I'm an admin of, and we talk about things. I know that you guys talk about things because one of the moderators at one point told me you do before you like boot people and you know, come on. <laughs> I know that there is discussion about well, I think we should shut comments off. You know, you know, I just haven't. I, I'm not, uh, you know, wet behind the ears on this stuff. I know how it works, okay? So, um, regardless as to who's shutting off the comments or who's deleting the comments, most of the time it wasn't necessary. And, you know, basically, yeah, thanks for, for exposing that um, exactly what we already knew, okay? When you say that um that she can't have people on there teaching heresy and teaching false doctrine you've just supported the whole premise of our issue okay our issue is she's teaching false doctrine so if she thinks it's false false doctrine for us to get on and say that we're no longer under the law then you have just supported our whole case 
And that really needs to have more exposure. So thanks for verifying that if you go on to Lee's group and say, we're not under the law anymore, she considers that heresy. So that's, a, that's an important thing right now. That's, that's an important thing is, is for us to put this out in the public that, yes, she is teaching under the law. She is teaching these things, and you cannot speak against them. So thank you. I, I do appreciate that because um, these things need to be brought out into the light. Absolutely. I'll be right back. Okay, so you talked about how when you're in someone's home, you need to abide by their rules. Absolutely true. Here's the kicker, though. I'm no longer in Lee's home, okay? I can say what I want, and I will always back it up by scripture, and I will always back it up historically, okay? And so I'm not under Philia's rules. I'm not under her roof. I'm not in her sisterhoods. Um, I am free to speak very frankly about what I see as error. So um, you can't preach to me anymore about it because I'm not under her, her rules anymore, okay? I am a different entity. I'm, I'm not in there anymore. So um, I can speak against heresy, and I will, and I will do it plainly and frankly, and that's kind of just the way it is. None of us have ever disregarded the word of God. What we wanted to do was discuss the word of God. But the only parts that you can discuss is the parts that support the dogma. We do not disregard the word of God, okay? Context is 31,102 verses, 66 books, and... There's nothing wrong with discussing that, but she didn't want that on her her um, forum. That's her business, but we did not disregard the Bible. We would never do that. I would never do that. Absolutely not. The confusion, my friends, was already there. It was already there. People have come out and said before I ever contacted any of them, that they were already confused, they were questioning their salvation, I am responding to that confusion. It's confusing to people to um, have them have studied the Bible their whole lives, and all of a sudden, um, someone tell them that um, sin is Torahlessness, if you're not under if you're not obeying the law then you are lawless which is torahlessness and um the churches uh, leave churchianity this stuff is what causes division the way causes division 119 ministries causes division shofar mountain causes division philia causes division and someone's going to respond to it one way or another and um i'm okay with it it's what I do. Pause it again. I am still waiting for proof of anything that I said in a condescending way while in the groups. Still waiting for that proof. I'm still waiting for a copy and paste so that the public can see what my comments were and whether or not they're condescending. Um, because honestly, that's ridiculous. And actually, any church that I have been to, no, you can't walk up when the pastor's teaching at the pulpit and like, you know, you're, what you're teaching is wrong or whatever. But any church I have been to, when you're having Bible studies and you're having discussions and you're having like more informal, um, uh, like Sunday school and um, informal, um, you know, like small groups and stuff like that. Yes, you can um, 
say, this is how I see it. You have the freedom in any church I have been in. You have the freedom to have a discussion and hash it out. So um, just wanted to touch on that. Um, that, that yes, in um, Christianity, where people are not being controlled in a church, you absolutely can have those discussions. Absolutely. I've never been to a church where you cannot sit down and hash things out and saying, but this verse, and yeah, that is absolutely allowed. If it's not allowed in a church, then it's probably a cult. <laughs> We did not come in and start confusion, okay? I think, I believe it's all of us that are speaking, myself included, did not go to Philia Sisterhood to pick on the sisterhood. We went because what we, what we saw on YouTube was her YouTube persona, which is pretty decent. Okay, and we're like, I want to join the Facebook so I can have fellowship. And then, then we saw the confusion when we got in there, okay? Um, you don't see the confusion, um, but that's because you have the same heresy. <laughs> so, of course, you're not going to see the confusion. If a Jehovah Witness walked into a kingdom hall, um, a new kingdom hall and went in, they would not feel confused. But if I walked into a Jehovah Witness kingdom hall, I would be confused. Um, so that's how it went down, okay? None of us went to find Philia so that we could pick on her. We went for fellowship with other ladies and then started seeing heresy, and that's how it went down, and we responded to it. And we were also seeing confusion divisions. We've had many women who are coming out, they're getting more brave and coming out and saying, I was confused. I was questioning my own salvation. These, these things were happening. We're responding to it, period. I am sure, based on your experience, you can tell what kind of triggers are going to cause a problem for people who want to put other people under the law. You guys can tell in Philia when you have a seasoned um, student of the scriptures because they're going to be a problem. And it's not our approach. And I'm still waiting for proof that when I was in the sisterhood, that my proof was that, that my approach was rude. It wasn't. But yes, you're going to see, you know, just like if um, if Lee went into an NAR group, um, she's going to approach it a certain way based on her past experience, and they're going to be able to tell that she's a problem and they're going to kick her out. This all that you guys are complaining about does not change that it's heresy. Any way you look at it, and your all your video did was exposed that philia is in heresy, and they feel they're untouchable by those who are not in heresy. Um, but the problem is, like I said before, I'm not in philia anymore, so therefore I'm not under her rules. I don't have to obey her rules. I can talk about how she's in error. I can explain the error, and I can expose it, period. Explain how the scriptures are taken out of context. It's not enough for you to just say they're taken out of context, okay? We believe your scriptures are taken out of context, but here's a novel idea. Let's sit, sit down and discuss and hash it out. Oh, no, but you don't want to do that, right? Let me just reiterate that um, Philia did not present themselves initially as a Torah observant group. You're acting as if 
all of us came and joined this um, very well-known tour group so that we could come in and cause a ruckus. Its entire presentation was that it was a Christian group. That's how it looks on YouTube. It's only been, I mean, they talked about observing the feast a little, little bit, you know, but they did not come out really and say we're Torah observant until the first of the year. I was kicked out the first part of February, okay? Previously, okay, in the months previously, no one that joined was like, oh, yes, I'm joining a, uh, um, Torah observing group. Most people didn't know that. Lee says herself in live videos on the Philia Sisterhood, uh, either in the Torah or the other group, says herself, you know, in the regular sisterhood, like 90% of them are not Torah observant, you know. They don't join thinking, oh, and as a matter of fact, we know that they don't join thinking that it's a Torah observant, they may now because you've got more exposure because I'm saying things and so are other people. But people, you can tell they don't know because people will get on and, you know, they're surprised. And, you know, what's all this talk about, you know? So, no, they're not presenting themselves as, um, if I had thought for one second, okay, that Philia was teaching the stuff that they were teaching, I wouldn't have joined it, you know. But, you know, they're not really forthcoming. Um, I would not have joined it. I mean, I've learned a lot about um, the viewpoint since joining it, but I wouldn't have been, I would have been like, you know, I just thought I was joining, and that's the way other people are too. They thought they were joining a, you know, and like I've said before, um, the rules on philia were vague. I mean, the only thing, it didn't say this initially and then it was added. Um, no ill words against Torah. What does that mean? No ill words against Torah. I don't know of any Christian who speaks ill against the Torah. We say it's fulfilled and that it uh, was nailed to the cross. Um, but how is that ill word? Okay. You know, it, it, and then there would be conversations about the Torah and people would, you know, start saying, you know, having a conversation. And I'm thinking, oh, we can talk about Torah. Okay. And I would really sincerely feel that way. Like, oh, they're, they're um, allowing us to, to, you know, kind of hash it out. So I'd start talking and then my comments would be deleted. It's, it's, this is all on my first video. It's all true. This is all the things that were happening. Um, but you can have the rules that you want on your page. It's just that most people who are joining, I mean, they're starting to get a hint now, but for at least half or more of the history of that, those faith, Facebook groups, uh, three quarters of uh, the history of those Facebook groups, most people did not know they were joining a Torah group. Okay, you know, they thought they were joining a head covering group and, you know, uh, stuff like that, but most people did not know they were joining a Torah group. Come on, that's not even true. Um, so yeah, you can have the rules that you want to in your group, but um, I'm not in there anymore, so therefore I don't have to hold to your rules anymore, Lee. I'm just, you know, I can say what I want now. So um, let me finish. People are sending me messages right and left. I'll be right back. If the doctrine is wrong, deal with the doctrine. That is what I am doing. And every time I go watch one of their videos, if they're, if it's about doctrine and there's an error, I'm going to say so. I don't go to her um, little house on the mountain and pick on her house uh, keeping skills. As a matter of fact, I like watching those videos, by the way. I've learned a few things from Lee. I don't have a reason 
to attack her as a person and attack um, how she smiles and all this nonsense. I'm attacking doctrine. I'm attacking false doctrine, and I'm attacking her as a false teacher because if you teach false doctrine, you are a false teacher, and you do have the marks of a cult. And as far as the Hebrew roots go, like I said, she has said just recently, although she doesn't affiliate herself with Hebrew roots, she agrees with most of it. That would be like someone getting on uh, Lee's page and saying, I don't affiliate with NAR, but I agree with most of it. What would you say to that person if they said that? Oh, I know. Lee shuts them down. You know, Lee tells them they're in error. Oh, because she says, I'm sorry, sister, you're in error. That I can't say, I'm sorry, Lee, you're in error. I have to say, sister, I have to, I mean, how do you want me to word it? Okay. She says that she's not Hebrew roots, but she says she agrees with most of what they say. What if a person came in and says, I don't affiliate with Roman Catholicism, but I agree with what most of what they teach? Lee said that in the group just recently. So she's under the umbrella of Hebrew roots, whether she likes it or not. She recommends 119 Ministries, Shofar Mountain, The Way, um, Pastor Dowell, for goodness sake. Didn't fall up the turn truck truck yesterday. <gasps> I'm being sarcastic. Please describe in detail what I have slandered. In detail, please. What did I say that is not true? Details. If Lee has not put herself above correction, then why have we never heard her say, Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it is okay to call men pastors. Or, I'm sorry, when I quoted Pope Gregory as a reason for why not to obey the menstruation laws. How come she hasn't said, Oh, I was in error? She's in error on a lot of things. And you may agree with her error, but she's still in error. And again, I will say, Lee, you are an image bearer of the Lord. I love you, but you are wrong. And I'm not under your authority. I'm under his. I'm going to speak against a false ministry who is teaching error. And we are asking you to repent. Because we care about you, we care about James, we care about the people who are under you. This is very important. So I think that's all I've got to say. And you have a good night. Bye.